Hello, I'm James Clark from the Department of Physiology at King's College London, and in this short tutorial I'm going to show you how to make the most of your subtitles that have been automatically generated by Microsoft Stream. So when you've had a meeting in Teams or you've uploaded a video to Microsoft Stream, it will automatically generate closed captions or subtitles. You can see a video on the screen in front of you where this closed captions are shown in the little grey box at the bottom of the video. You can turn this on and off by clicking on the CC button, as demonstrated. You can download these closed captions, and I've shown that in a different tutorial, but I'll show it again now. If you click on the three little dots, or more actions, within the Streams video view, and click on Update Video Details, on the screen you will see three boxes, the details of the video, permissions for access, and over on the far right hand side you've got some options. One of these options is to download the auto-generated caption file, which I'm going to do now. So that's downloaded a file to my downloads folder. If we just load that file up on the screen, you'll see that it's in a strange format. It's in text format, but there's all this other information, note duration, confidence and timings. And this is of course all to do with the generation of the captions and where they appear in your video. Conveniently, a website called gotranscript.com, the link is on the screen, allows you to upload your transcript file and convert it into an industry standard format. Simply click Upload, choose your closed caption file, choose the format you wish to export in, and since I'm going to use these captions in Camtasia, I'm choosing the SRT format. In fact, the SRT format is pretty much compatible with all commercial video editing programs. And then you click on Convert. This will convert the file and download it back to your Downloads folder. So now in my Downloads folder I have two files, the second of which is the SRT file, which you can see is in a slightly different format, and this is now compatible with your commercial software. Now here's an extra thing. What if you want access to that text file in order to then upload it so that colleagues or students can download a transcript of your video? Well, you don't have to type it all out, you'll be pleased to know. There is another website. This one's called subtitletools.com that will happily convert any industry standard captions file into plain text. Again, the procedure is very simple. Simply choose your file, and now I'll choose my SRT file, and choose Extract Text. You can leave an empty line between each of your cues. In other words, for each of the captions that appears on the screen, it'll insert a blank line. And of course you can include the file name in the output file if you want to. I'm going to leave these both empty and just click on Extract Text. This brings you up a second page which allows you to download your generated text file. And now you can see it on the screen. Here is the transcript from that video in plain text. You can then upload this text to your VLE and give students and colleagues access to the full transcript of your recording. So these two websites, gotranscript.com and subtitletools.com, might really help you get the most out of your auto-generated captions from Microsoft Stream.